Vivian Short in studio today, 15 minutes to frame. Hey, Vivian, thanks for coming on today. Oh, of course. I'm so excited to be here. Well, cool, cool. So, you know, we don't know each other that well. Mm -hmm. I mean, but we have, I think you've worked with a couple of my guys yes, in the past. Yes. Yeah, a couple of weddings. And, and uh, you know, they all, the guys always come back and they always kind of tell me, you know, like, yeah, we like this photographer. Mm -hmm. We don't like her or we don't like him or whatever. And, yeah. And uh, everybody's always come back and said, we absolutely love Vivian. Oh, you that's... know, and, that's, and that matters a lot to us. Yes. And um, so then I finally got to work with you at a wedding recently. And that was, uh, gosh, that was Taylor, Taylor Martin. Taylor yeah. Martin's wedding. I released that film. Yeah. And um, so that, that was at Athena uh, Farm and Vineyard mm -hmm. in Beckley. So. So that was nice for me to be able to kind of put a face with the name and kind of work with you. Yeah, and we clicked. We, oh, we, we had did. a good time. It was almost like that we knew each other yeah, forever. Yeah, you know? and, uh, and that, that matters a lot. I mean, it's like we knew each other from, yeah. you know, you know, from past weddings or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, um, well, yeah, cool. So, yeah. So tell me a little bit about Vivian Short. What What is Vivian Short about? What um, do you do? Your family life? You know, where do you live? Just just tell everybody. Well, I mean, I love photography. Mm -hmm. I um, one, I just really, the way I got started with this is just one day I woke up and I seen like an ad on Facebook and it was just talking about cameras and photography. And um, I was a respiratory therapist before I did this. Really? I didn't yes. know that. Yeah. And, um, so you're a licensed respiratory yeah, therapist? Yeah, registered respiratory therapist, yes. Wow, that's I so cool. I passed my boards, both tests, and um, worked there for like three or four years. And then um, when I had my daughter... And she was, you know, the only one I have. And, you know, I wanted to stay home with her. And I quickly learned that I, it wasn't, I thought it was going to be one of those kind of jobs to where I get to stay home with her. Now I'm dragging her to shoots. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's very, I mean, it's difficult at times. And my mom helps me a lot. But, you know, I just seen that ad one day. And I just thought, I want to try to get this started. I didn't know how much I would fall in love with this. Right, right. And it is just as much as I'm a wife and a mother and a daughter, I am a photographer. Right. Just as much because right. I just love it so much. And you, you've um, really, I mean, like you know, I've I've kind of followed you. Like it was almost like you know, I never heard of Vivian. All of a sudden, boom! Like where did this girl come from? <laughs> yeah, and, you it know, just so took off. Really crazy. shot to the top very quickly. Yeah. And you know, so that's good. And you know, I've talked to other photographers, and they, they're fans of yours, and they've yeah. been shooting for years. So, it's so great to have other people's respect in the industry. And, you know, that matters to me. And I know um, it's always been like community over competition for me because there's a lot of people in our Logan area. I'm right. from Logan, West Virginia. Okay. So there's a lot of people in our area. Um, you're not going to be friends with everybody. No. Um, but, you know, for the most part, we get along. I mean, I get along with people. I kind of just do my own thing. Right. And um, I love it. I love right. doing weddings. I do newborns, seniors maternity family i have a studio in logan cool right in, um, on main street logan, yeah downtown logan i've got cool. a studio on the second floor it's at 229 stratton street okay and um we'll have all that info yeah. in the description below yeah. so everybody can can come and find you yeah. and check it out so i just kind of went for it i had a dream for this and i quickly fell in love with it and i just wanted to make it happen and you know it's just i feel like i just fit in like with you with do. you guys you do. Just, you yeah do. i mean um, it's just you know like a you wedding said, we, day is just we yeah. have fun yeah yeah like you said we clicked immediately and then you know i watch yeah. you kind of interact with different people you know and, and i don't know if you knew taylor and, and martin i do I, I went to school with taylor she is um i think she was a senior when i was a freshman uh -huh. we cheered together um but you know I, it was amazing that she asked me to do that yeah. i love the venue uh, athena is a beautiful venue um, I've done a lot of weddings. I've done some in Kentucky. i got one in Tennessee coming up this cool. year that's like five hours away. Oh, yeah. Um, I got um, a lot in this area. Yeah. And Elevated Media seems to be um, always there. I, oh, I yeah. love working with you guys. So That matters a lot. Yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, definitely we, we want to you know, work yeah. well with every photographer. Right. But, you know, it matters to me whenever I get a good report back. And, right. You know, I'll talked to Sarah Irvin and Melissa Kincaid the other day. Sarah. Right. I don't know Melissa. I know of her. She does fabulous work. But Sarah, uh, yeah. we, we are pretty good. Yeah. We're, we're friends. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And um, so, but anyway, we, um, you know, we mentioned me like, you know, teamwork make the dream mm -hmm. work. You know, or, I'm sorry. Yeah. Teamwork make the dream work. That is right. So, yeah. so and that's important. And it's very true. Yes. I mean, um, you know, we're, we're trying to produce, 
you know, a film and, and photos for our brides and grooms and whenever the, you know, the, the uh, f- photographer and videographer and all the vendors yeah. work well together, it makes that happen. Right. So. And, you know, like every wedding that we do, I mean, we have a pretty, we know what we need to get, but every wedding's different. They are. I mean, it's, you know. It's, it's a fluid situation. Yeah. You know, timeline change, you know, the bride's hair's not done on time. Yeah. It rains. <laughs> yeah. I mean, or they want certain things, you know, first look, not a first look. I mean, right. it's it's always fun to see how the day's going to turn out, too, with weddings. It's, it's even fun. though it's a wedding, it's still, every <laughs> wedding is different, yeah, right? I right, mean, it is. Um, so, and same thing probably with your other shoots. I of mean, course, you know, yes. you're doing newborns and seniors, but everybody has a different style. Trying you're, to make it more unique, each person, you know, right. different and to where they have their moment. Right. And it's not comparable to somebody else, right. you know. Right, Exactly. And you are different. Like I, I've, I've, I see everybody's kind of style. And I mm-hmm. look and I pay attention, you know, because you know I get a lot of people asking who I would recommend, and and uh, you're definitely on our list. Oh, and, thank you. and you know everybody has a different, you know, budget, a different right. style, you know, uh, you know maybe maybe some you know weddings are out of out of state or or exactly. maybe out of your area, but like, uh, but you know your your style is appealing to me. And you're very, very creative, and Thank I, you. you know, I can see that you take the extra time and effort to to do what you do. And you know, your senior shoots are not just you know cookie cutter, and yeah. neither is your wedding. I mean, nothing is cookie cutter. Right. And I can tell you, you know, you're passionate about what you do, you know, in your work. Yes, and, I, and I, yes. Yeah. So, so like, I mean, you're you're very young. So how? I know. Right, so I'm a, I'm 26. 26. How long I'm, have you been shooting? I've been shooting. I think this is my third fourth year wow. on my fourth. yeah i mean it's um i'll I'm be jealous. 20 <laughs> <I'm jealous. laughs> thank you i'll be 27 in february though yeah, so cool. not much longer being yeah. 26 but That's awesome. i mean um i got married young i've done everything i quickly i you grew up fast. yes i did um yeah. I'm the oldest sibling, okay. and you know, like older sibling syndrome. Right. You know, you're always, you know, growing up with your parents. My parents were young when they had me. Yeah. And then they're like, my mom was um, 20, yeah. I think, when she had me. So I kind of grew up with my mom and dad. Right. My dad owns a business. Oh, cool. So, so I'd like to see him. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of, I've seen that. Yes. The hard, my, both my parents are very um, wonderful. Yes. Dad's kind of like kind of what got me started I, I had this idea and he looked at me and he said you know Vivian if you're going to do this you need to do it right do it right exactly. so um he actually bought me my first camera That's and, so cool. and it was a, a Nikon D850 yeah. and and you know those aren't I mean super expensive but they're not cheap either yeah. i mean that's a good camera most probably people still um, use them that now professionally yes you know. yes yes it's a good one i, mean, I love it right, you know so. i still own it and right. you know i have a couple of different cameras but you know he bought me that and that was the first one i had and i was just like it was intimidating mm-hmm. but you know sure. after i got the hang of it and practice and you know everything i mean i really owe to him though you know he just yeah. Just a great dad. That's just awesome. like, you want to do this? Okay, I'm going to help you. He was the encourager yes. and, and all that. Yeah. And, kind of, and, you know, it's kind of in your DNA, too. Yeah. He's a business owner. So, right. you know, so you kind of knew what it took. And then I'm sure you had some good coaching and mentorship, yes. you know, under him to kind of, mm-hmm. you know, you know, if you're going to do something wrong, or if you have a question, he's going to be there to kind of right. like, eh, My dad's all about respect, too. And that's another thing is, like, I try to respect you know, right. bride and groom, um, the people there, you know, people were, were, I know you guys have a job to do. I got a job to do. Right. I mean, I feel like growing up with my parents grew me up a little bit more, sure. even though I am young, I feel like that I'm where I'm supposed to be. Right. Like, you even are, though I'm you young, I'm are. where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. You you're, I mean, so you're, I'm, an, I'm, I'm happy that I didn't find this in my, th- I, I'm just glad that I found it. I wish I'd have found it earlier. Right. I kind of wish I would have got started with this before I started respiratory, but you know I just thought that was the route to go. And, Everybody but think, I am glad that I went through that. Yeah, I mean because, it's a good experience that you yeah. went through that and you and have. Kudos that. to people who work in the healthcare because I mean I, they deal with a lot and they do. it's they it's do. just you know they see a lot and that was another reason why I wanted to find something else is because yeah. the things you see at work you bring it home. It's tough. And I was a new mom and right. it was just you know I used to not be as sensitive as I am. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you know, that's, I mean, yeah, that's awesome. So you're self-taught then. I mean, you yes. don't, you you went through schooling for respiratory therapy, mm-hmm. but then, but you know, you you know had yeah. the idea I wanted to do photography. So then you kind of self-taught. I was. Well, I took a few mentorings. Um, mm-hmm. Missy LaFriends. I went to Iowa. Okay. Um, I cool. drove all the way out there and stayed a few days, and I mentored with her. But this was like 
two years into my career. Right. So I was kind of self-taught up until that point. Right. Yeah. But, you know, she, she was wonderful. Yeah. I mean, she really was. And then I've done some newborn education, which you have to do because you want to make sure that the babies are safe yes. and stuff like that. It's not just something that you can just th- throw yourself into without right. learning yeah. a little bit, you know. Yeah. But um, I love the babies, too. I right. mean, I don't even know if I have a favorite. I think just, yeah, well, yeah, like, I mean... It's I mean, just hard to choose. <laughs> it's, it's hard to choose. I mean, and, and you know, in your work, you can't really tell which one is your favorite. I yeah. mean, they all look great, but, but uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's weddings you like better than others, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, senior sessions you like better than right. others, and newborns, you know, that go smoother than others. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that's difficult. I couldn't imagine, you know, yeah. doing that. But, um, so, I mean, that, that's just so cool. I mean, so you're really an inspiration for a lot of other photographers out there that, you know, maybe, you know, newer or wanted to get into it. So, mm-hmm. like, you know, they see you and they're like, wow, I mean, you know, in three or four years, you know, what did you say, four years? Yeah. You've already made it, you know, to, you know, I mean, you're, you're, you know, envied <laughs> by wow. some. Well, thank you so, so much. That means, a, I mean, that means a lot coming from you. And, um, I, you know, I've talked to a lot of photographers. I have a lot of photographer friends, and it's just so, like I said, it's so great to have their respect. Right. And um, it just, that's what makes you likable in this industry. It you is. have to be friends and be courteous. I mean, you don't have to talk to people every day, but right. you need to be respectful. And, right. and Network, know. there's a lot of power in networking. Mm-hmm. And just, you know, just, you know, like, I comment, you know, talk to all the vendors during the day if I can, yeah. the catering staff. and um, Yeah, it and, takes know, us all to yeah, make the right, day. Right, I mean, you know, like, I mean, the DJ is a big part of our day. You know, the photographer is yeah. a big part of our day, the wedding planner. Um, you know, just everybody, you know, it's just important to network with those people right. and, and build that relationship. I mean, I, I, I get, you know, referrals all the time from, mm-hmm. from florists and yeah. because what they're doing you know, this is a shout out to, you know, Cottageway Floral, you know, so they, they do a lot of stuff. They help us out. They they yeah. recommend us. We do appreciate they that. They give us something beautiful to shoot. Right. So, I mean, there's so. a lot of great florists. I mean, you have, you know, uh, Barb and James down the street here mm-hmm. in Oak Hill. So, you know, they, you know, and Gillespie's over in um, uh, Green uh, White Sulphur Springs. So yeah. they give us something nice to shoot. And mm-hmm. those things those things matter to us. And, you know, right. without that, then, you know, it would just be an ordinary photo, an yeah. ordinary video. And, you know, it is a serious day, but I love to cut up and laugh too. Right. You know, I mean, we have fun. Right. We want to make our bride and groom feel comfortable. They have to you know? Some people are not used to being in front of the camera. You know? Yeah. And I mean. So I mean, it's just their first wedding, probably, and and uh, you know, I mean, we're we're asking brides and grooms to you know hold hands and kiss, and yeah. curl right and in dip, front of us, right in front of us. Act like we're not here. Right. You and know? we're like that far from each other, <laughs> and so yeah, yeah, don't act like you know, act like we're not here, you know, and and uh, you know, then they have to read letters for me. They have to yeah. read letters and personal. stuff. Personal. It's personal. It's and it's awesome they trust us right with that and to be there it's i mean it's you know with every bride and groom that i get it's just an honor that they choose me you right. know what i mean like yeah. it's just it's a that's a big day right even like seniors it's a big that's a you big, know, that's that a, they that's choose a monumental you. moment of their yeah. life and you know? newborns too that's it's just we capture so many cool things yeah that they're not going to be able to experience again, but they can look back on it and see it right. and relive it through, you know, the photos that we capture, or the videos we capture. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's just super important. And, yeah. you know, it is something that I have learned with Audrey. You know, I don't take her pictures a lot because I just feel guilty. <laughs> I yeah. have a lot to edit, so I would rather take her to somebody and have it done and, and appreciate their work. And, you know, it's something I prioritize with her now. Right. It's because she grows so fast. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, it's so, funny because, like, I mentioned this the other day to my sister in law, I believe, but, like, you know, you know how, like, a carpenter, uh, his house is always needs something work, needs some <laughs> yeah. work done or something at his own house, but he'll work and build something beautiful at somebody else's house. So, kind of like us, like, mm-hmm. if I do something for my kids or whatever, I usually just take my phone and video yeah. it or whatever. I won't bring out my, you know, high dollar camera, you know. My and, mother-in-law and my mom will say, what, did you bring your camera? And I'm like, no. Nope. No, no I, I'm off today. Yeah. I'm just a dad today. Yeah. I just want to be an ordinary guy. And, you know, right. Yeah. So I, I understand that. So, and yeah. then, um, you know, it's just, you know, just so much, um, you know, involved in, in, uh, you know, our kids' life that, know. you know, we don't want to have to, you know, constantly preach and, right. and uh, bring our, you know, our cameras <laughs> our with us. And, with us, right, yeah. Right, right, exactly. And I'm sh- it's not, it's not, um, you know, it's heavy. So. Yeah, right. It's nice to have a <laughs> yeah. phone every once in yeah. a while. 
So, uh, but that doesn't sure. mean that people don't need to, you know, still use us. The phone's <laughs> yeah. a good job. But. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, there's, I think that there's just an art to mm-hmm. what we do right. that you can't get through a cell phone. Right. You know, just different yeah. quality and it's an art and it's, you know, you trust our creative mind to come up with, right. you know, capturing what you need. And, and I love when people, you know, with weddings and stuff, they have beautiful beautiful weddings you don't have to have i mean big stuff to have a beautiful wedding Backyard weddings are great. Yeah, yeah but it's cool to have something different to shoot yeah you know right. i mean yeah it, a lot of a lot of different, yeah, variety. You know, flowers and variety and you know uh, you know pretty scenery yeah. different things yeah. to shoot but so what are, like let's talk about weddings a little bit what is your maybe favorite wedding favorite place maybe favorite maybe, place yeah, I, really, that you've been to. And, I really liked athena there's highland stables in kentucky that was really beautiful hold on, wait a minute i think was that Bowling Green? It's in Bowling Green. You've been to yes. Bowling Green? Yes, I've been to Bowling Green. I have Green. too. We've been to Bowling Green. <laughs> yeah, you know, I would. I want to shoot. You can, We've talked about this before. Yeah. The Greenbrier. The, I would love to do one there. I have not done one there yet, surprisingly. Yeah, I we, mean. We've done a few. We've yeah. done a few there. And, and um, so definitely a beautiful place to shoot. Yeah. And, and you'll get it. You yeah, know, you'll get eventually. that opportunity. Yeah. And, um, you know, weddings are different everywhere you go yeah. you know and uh, but the green bar is, is good there so mm-hmm. it's a great beautiful place to Mia shoot bella i've not shot a wedding there but i shot a senior there okay um i know the owner she's she's real sweet yeah. and you know a wedding there i would like to do it's, yeah it's a different yeah. see in her venue um it's different than what we have here in yeah. west virginia we don't really have that you know that sort of style venue mm-hmm. and we'll have that you know we're actually going to have a video uh, here soon with her with her ven- with her venue and, yeah. and her in it so that'll be cool um so so what's the furthest maybe you've done maybe bowling green is that- um i think well the furthest i have done i think is bowling green but i'll be going to tennessee um what part? athens A- athens okay uh, so i think yep. that'll be my furthest once you know it's booked and right. you know i'm right. going and i what think kind of it's venue is it? april that i'm going in. april what kind yeah of- i think oh. it's like a farm, farm? So, not really farm but like um uh, a barn style yeah, setting barn style. so um cool. it'll be it, it looked like it had a lot of land to it from what i looked up yeah. on the venue and that's something that i like to do is look up venues and that's Support. one thing on my questionnaires why i always ask what's the venue because i like to be prepared and yeah you yeah know. so you can do your homework and so yeah let's talk a little bit about your workflow so if a bride is interested you know in they see this they see this mm-hmm. video today they're interested in booking vivian so what is the process? What's the best process for them? Um, I do a lot of inquiries on my website, um, www.vnshortphotography.com. Okay. And I've got a website on there. You can go under um, investment, and it, there'll be a button that says inquire. You can click that. It'll go to my booking site. Okay. And I do a lot of um, stuff through Facebook still. I mean, sure. oh, Facebook is where, yeah, what I, an email. You know, it'll have a thing on my website, too. You can email me. And then I have a booking site, and it's really easy and they just inquire for the date sometimes on there it'll say it's open but I don't put everything closed sure because I only put closed days that I'm like completely right. not working right. yeah. just because that would be difficult to go in and close all those days exactly, yeah. but um if they inquire and I have the date usually I ask them what the date is first where they're mm-hmm. getting married um and then I'll send that to them and they like the looks of the investment part and it's mm-hmm. something that suits them um the budget wise right. um then uh, I'll approve it, send them an email, and then we'll do like some text Con- and med- I usually um, tell them that I like to help with the timeline right. because timeline is big and it's like, you know, when was the best time to do pictures? Because right. yeah. like you want that sunset setting depending on the venue or that good lighting in the evening. And you, you probably yeah. will know better than, you know, than most other vendors you yeah. know there i mean like or, or even more so than the bride and the groom they're just not not really going to know you know and then plus you'll you know you have resources and you'll go and kind of do some, yeah. your own little you know background on you know what the best what the you know sunset time right. is for athens tennessee or yeah whatever. i'll google it i'll look it up and right. i'm prepared and um i usually like to get to know the bride and groom a little bit through my questionnaire when they book i'll ask yeah. them how long they've been together you know just some general their questions names, general right questions there. yeah um, and then of course i'm sure they do an engagement shoot as part of your packages um it's not included in a package okay. um but it is you do get um a small discount if you book your wedding right off of engagement okay cool so um i 
I love doing engagement pictures too. A lot of my brides will choose to add on for that. I also do bridal boudoir. Oh, I, cool. I have. I don't really get a lot of brides do that. I guess you know, like I was talking about budget with the wedding. On and the, the wedding engage. day. Yeah, uh, not on oh, the wedding day, okay. just like beforehand. Okay. Um, but like if they want to come in my studio and do something like that, yeah, like I offer that, it because I do a lot of boudoir. I think yeah. I think I'm saying it right. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, but you know. Um, but I don't know, I boudoir. Like I always boudoir. say boudoir, but I don't even know if that's right either. So, <laughs> I, know. I mean, somebody uh, out there will correct us, I'm sure, yeah. and please do. <laughs> yeah, but, but so, so know. yeah, that's pretty cool. So, uh, and you do that in your studio, yeah, you say? I do it yeah. in my studio. Cool. And I know there's some photographers that actually uh, offer like boudoir, boudoir, yeah. uh, on the wedding day. Yeah, you know, I've which, heard of that before. Yeah, that would be tough, I it think. It would be tough. Uh, I timeline. feel like you would have to work a longer day. Yeah, for absolutely. sure. Add an, an extra hour. Yeah, probably. that's right. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then I would be nervous that it, if something happened, it wouldn't turn out. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, um, you want to be able to yeah. focus on that task yes. and not, you know, worry about that. Right. And then, because in the back of your mind, you're worried about, okay, we've got to get her in her dress yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. So best to kind of keep that a separate task. But I bet that would be extra special, though. It would be kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so, since it's on the wedding day, that would be yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So, yeah. Um, gosh, I mean, I think we've covered about everything. Yeah, I mean, um, we've talked a lot. So, I've had a really good time. Yeah, well, I'm, cool. I'm very honored that you asked me to come on here. Well, That's, thank you. That, I know we have a couple of weddings coming up yeah. um, that we just booked. I think uh, we I just booked... Um, uh, Allison and DT, uh -huh. and then that's your client, right? Is uh -huh. that one of yours? Think, so, yeah, yeah. yeah so they Allison. Booked, so that's in June. A, in June, yeah. yeah, I think it's June. Yep. So, so that's. I know we have that one, but I'm sure there's a few others out there. That, this year, it's different because I'm booking a lot in May and June, and usually my October goes quicker. Yeah. But now this year, it's kind of like. May, and, May and April and June that I'm getting inquiries. So that's been different for the year. Yeah. But I have, you know, I don't really have any October dates like Saturdays open now. All of they're them's all, closed. closed. But yeah. um, usually that's the first to go. But I'm, I'm excited October. for the summer weddings. Yeah. Usually people, you know, last couple of years that's been all wanting to do fall weddings, which right. is yeah, beautiful. Summer, yeah. But, you know, it's I'm exciting. I'm ready for summer weather. So, yeah, but, yeah, me so too. Bring that on. Yeah. So how many weddings do you typically do a year? Um, last year I did 19 weddings. Okay. Um, the year before I did like 21. And that's busy because yeah, I mean, you're, just, you're a one, one woman show. Yes. I yeah. Mean, and so, yeah, so that's you're that's 19 wet weddings or 19 weekends that you're gone or whatever. And I do other things too. Like, right. It's just like I got just as much weddings I got a just more newborns and everything else that I do. Throughout the week. Yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm really based on is like newborn seniors, maternity, family. I do a lot of that, and I do, you know, a lot of weddings too. So it's like right. so any more than that I couldn't do. Oh, right no. now I think I have 16 booked for next year and a few booked already for 2024. Wow. So um, I don't know if I'm going to do any more than uh, 20 for next that's, year. But I mean, that, that seems to be yeah. about the normal. For, yeah, for, for everybody yeah, usually. Yeah, it seems like what I hear. You the know, cutoff. Yeah, my, you know, my my business business model is different we have multiple mm -hmm. shooters but like like last year i shot 57 weddings wow. by myself and um so and, and you, know, you you edit too yeah you do all oh that. yeah so That's i awesome. mean you know it, uh it's uh, it's you know stay busy full time mm -hmm. I'm, I'm blessed to do what i do and yeah. i absolutely love it so uh and i love doing this so this is you know kind of a way that i wanted you know brides and grooms and and other to vendors to, to kind of see you know kind of you know I feel very. I'm heavily vested in the wedding industry in West mm -hmm. Virginia, so I want I want to kind of give back a little bit, and right. I feel like this is kind of giving back just a little bit. You know, kind of you know maybe some brides will kind of get to know you a little bit. Yeah. You know, and I don't know, and it's just yeah. uh, it's just nice to be able to provide that. So. Yeah, but, I really um, think this is something cool. Yeah, well, cool. Thank you for coming on, and thank I th you. I'll it's have so everything have in uh, I mean, for you to have me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'll have all of her description stuff, all of her email, you know, all that good stuff in the description below, and uh, how you can get a hold of her. I also, um, you know, share some some of her photos and whatnot. Um, but anyway, feel free to give us a shout. Give her a shout. We'll see you next time. Bye.